People will sell their soul for money. Came to Columbia on vacation, met a kid, gave up on his dream. All this time I suppressed my athletic journey. I suppressed sports, I suppressed basketball for 20 years. I'm so selective on people that I deal with. If a person lies a lot, I'm probably not, I don't wanna be around that person, much less do business with that person. I think people should be rooting for me, you know? For most of my life, people have been rooting against me. But I think people should be rooting for me. What's going on guys? Today is August 4th, 2024. It is 8.48 a.m. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Hassan El Sadiq. I am an entrepreneur. I am currently located in Cartagena, Colombia. Man, it's beautiful outside, it's a beautiful Sunday. Um, so today, the on the agenda is we have our Milestone One meeting with our development team at 9 a.m. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. What that looks like, and again, if you've been watching, we're documenting this complete process of building this startup. Um, getting to launch after launch i'm doing daily videos so you can possibly get some value if you ever wanted to do a startup um if you ever wanted to build a company if you ever wanted to build something um and put into the world our thing is impact and uh it's a sports technology company so um that's what I'm here for, is to document the complete journey, add some value to the world, put it out into the world, and you guys can watch my um, mishaps, you can watch what I do well. I have been an entrepreneur, I just wanted to say something, I've been an entrepreneur for over 18 years. So, but entrepreneurship and building a startup and technology, rather than building a retail store, or rather than building a production company, video production company, completely different things. So I am at the early stages of learning how to build a startup, right? Um, we are 89 days until launch, okay? This is exciting. And the days here just go past so fast. I mean, uh, 89 days until launch. Um, this is officially the third week I have been back in Cartagena. So, and it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it feels, you know, it doesn't feel like it at all. Um, really enjoying this process of bringing this, this, this content and documenting this process with you guys. Really, really enjoying it. Um, yeah, so, that's on the agenda today. I'm not sure how what else will be on the agenda as far as uh, any work. Next week, we'll dive into everything more. What I wanna get into next week is actually customer discovery. Uh, I wanna show you guys how to do customer discovery. I'll do it like as I'm doing it and, and document the entire thing. As you know, 89 days to launch, it's time to get some customers you know, time to do some surveys and see what they think and see will they purchase our product, pre-purchase our product, see if the pain that they have is 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 large enough to give us money for it. Uh, see if the problem that they have, uh, will they buy into our solution? And that's what it's about. It's about solving problems and solving a big enough problem. So, uh, People will pay you for that, but you actually have a genuine um, interest in solving their problems, right? And that's what I believe All Dreams does is, is I think it can be so impactful for amateur athletes and even, even uh, other athletes as well. So I'm gonna get into the day, um, 8.52. Uh, yeah, let me get into the day. Something else I wanted to, I wanted to chat about 
but I'll take the camera over here. Hi, Muslim. Hey, how are you? Um, can you guys can you guys record to me and then send it to me, please? Oh yeah, sure. Let me check. Okay. I have uh, created the folder structure which is required for the uh, development part, and along with that, I have created few uh, util files. Uh, that is again required for, uh, for our app. Like for strings, I have created this file. For font, I have created this app font .ts. And actually, uh, Hazan, all this coding has been done to accommodate all the navigation setup that we needed for all the code that we needed in the very beginning and making the entire application responses for all the kind of devices in whichever the app is getting installed like this is for future but all these settings we need to do at the very basic level so soon as has completed all that and next we can show you the splash screen and the basic user journey that uh, any user will go through when they will want to register themselves on the application so uh, let me start the app this is the splash screen and this is the sign up screen. Okay. The user can uh, log in by their Apple ID, Google account or Facebook or if any other email account that they have, they can enter it. Then they can click on continue with that email. They will have their options to enter the name, phone number, email address, password. Let me, let me explain what's going on. So we just had a meeting with uh, the developers and if you followed and you've been following his journey like I made a video because like this guy literally tried to steal my company in April so um, this guy is still kind of lingering around and one of the other guys wants to be protected <clears throat> from this guy because uh, that guy made an introduction to him um, so basically he's like yo I don't want to be on the video <laughs> you know I don't want to be on the video and that's just a like segue into uh like, when you're dealing with people, right? I, you know, I think you just have to be so careful on the type of people that you, that you deal with. Like me personally, me personally, I'm so selective on people that I deal with as far as like morally, integrity, principles. If a person lies a lot, I'm probably not, I don't want to be around that person, much less do business with that person. It even goes as far as like if a if a if a, a guy is a womanizer, I don't want to be around that type of person. Like if a guy cheats on his girlfriend, I don't want to be around that type of person. And so on and so forth. Like I like I judge people by morality, integrity, principles. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how much money you have. Like, I've never been that type of person where y'all want to be around somebody because they have money or it makes me feel weird or it makes me feel power because I'm next to somebody with money. I'm more into what's inside of that person and you always have to be careful because a lot of people are morally dead and integrity people will <clears throat> people will sell their soul for money literally you see women selling their body which is selling their soul for money like i said even guys, men that cheat on their wife, you have a wife and you're, you're like, it's something way off about that. Having multiple girlfriends, it's 
way is something way off about that to me okay i don't even want those type of people around me that you like like you can't sleep with you know the same woman and then like go and go behind her back sleep with another woman and then go back to her you can't lie to people and then go back do some other shit lie you know what i mean it, like it just doesn't make sense like stealing all of these things that like it's just so this world right now is just so morally freaking broken people don't have integrity you know and that's a lot of the reason why I like stay to myself and stay alone because like I had one conversation with, with somebody and I already know because I'm gonna ask the questions you know like about what they you know what they're about so I'm gonna share a little bit of the meeting but I can't share mo uh, a lot of it that's the case in point so Yeah. More of a story, man. Be careful who you around, like for real. Shit can ruin, like literally, like who you around can ruin your life, <laughs> like for real. Who you around, man? You better be careful. You better be careful. Nobody does like like you got to have moral integrity. You got to have principles, all of that, to even come around me, like for real, for real. somebody fell off their bike I'm always afraid of that I can't lie because um, you know motorcycles are dangerous you know uh, I don't like the rides that you know when they go fast but this guy today it's pretty chill also when there's not a lot of traffic um, it's an easy ride too. traffic complicates things Man, listen, so before I was leaving, right? I'm leaving. I'm coming to the beach. Take a dip in the ocean. Relax a bit. I really don't allow people to show up at, at my HQ. Not at all, it's like invite only. So before I'm leaving, the guy that I first met, one of the reasons why I moved here, John Davis shows up at the Dreams HQ, yelling out my name. And uh, listen, Like I said, I really don't allow people to show up like that. I haven't talked to this guy in a long time. And the same thing remains. It's funny because I was just talking about like how people are and being associated with them with morals, integrity, principles, and things like that. And also another thing is when you haven't been around somebody for a long time, like they may be a different person. And I know he had went to the military for a little while and who knows what happened when he was in that in that military thing? But also, he also brought he also brought somebody that I don't know. Like, you just don't bring people around me that I don't know. Like, that's just a, that's a no no. It's a no no. 
So I don't know what he want. You know, like, man, I didn't help this kid out an awful lot. I gave him like a two, three hundred dollar watch. Gave him money, of course. Um, I did some things for him to help him out, you know, and it's saying he can't get his get himself on track. And um, man, unfortunately, shit, I gotta move on, you know. He, you know, he's he he was younger when I met him. It's two years, so you know he older, man. He had a chance to get to get himself together. But I don't like people showing up, but it's the La Playa right here. So I'm about to take a dip in the ocean. And um, I might play a little bit of basketball. I don't know. I don't want to go into the week sore. So who knows? See how I'm feeling. If I do play, it might be like one or two games. Not much, because I just love playing basketball, <laughs> honestly. So yeah, I'm gonna take a dip in the ocean real fast. And um, man, put my feet on the ground, you know? in tune with the earth i need that energy i need that energy so yeah what's going on guys sunday as i chill here and um watch the guys play basketball i'm not playing today uh i just got into the ocean uh did a little bit of swimming flowing man feel so good uh Tomorrow's Monday. I want to start. You know, I want to start fast, so I don't want to be sore tomorrow. So I'm not gonna play today. As much as I always love to play, uh, I always love to play <laughs> basketball and whatever other sport. You know, it's just always been a thing. Just I just love to play. I just love to do things. Um, it's a beautiful day, as you can see. Beautiful Sunday. You know what I mean? And uh, it's always good to get your relaxed time, get your time to think, you know? I asked myself today, and say, yo, you know, am I doing the right thing, you know? Am I doing the right thing? It just, it feels so right. It's a struggle, you know? It's a struggle. It's not perfect, nothing is. Um, but I asked myself, am I doing the right thing? And, uh, you know, I have to ask myself because I have to be self-aware for, for me, you know? And I think people should be rooting for me, you know? For the most of my life, people have been rooting against me. But I think people should be rooting for me because I'm more like you than most of these other people that you think you're more alike. Like, you're probably more like me and we're probably more like each other. We probably have more in common. And that's why I root for the underdog because I've always been the underdog. You know, I was just taking some shots out here and it's just frustrating because today as I shoot around like I'm hitting shots and my whole life I've yearned to be a top-notch shooter it's never been I've never been a top-notch shooter I just have not been no matter how much I work on it I have never been just a knockdown JJ Reddick Kevin Durant just a knockdown shooter you know it's always been streaky for me and it's always been something that I've always yearned to be that I will probably never be at this point right um, but it's off and on yesterday, like, I couldn't hit a shot and I know it's just shooting around, but today I'm like, just the, you know, I know the feel of my shot. And the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, sometimes we yearn to be something that we will never be, you know, and we have to embrace what we are. And we still can work on, you know, being other things and, you know, things that we we aspire to be. But 
we should embrace the things that we actually are. You know, I was, you know, 6'6", six, six, left-handed, slasher, can hit threes, very, very, you know, very good uh, handle, ball handler, uh, can see the floor, very good defense, very good rebounder. And all of those things, and I'm not a knockdown shooter, I should have been embracing the things that naturally come to me and working on those things. Sort of like Dennis Rodman, like he never was a shooter. He never, you know, he was a rebounder, you know, and he embraced that. And that's what I noticed when, you know, like when guys were turning pro, what they did, they embraced what they did and they did that great, you know? Um, but as far as like the underdog, I think most of us are the underdog. The anointed ones, the ones that have always had the praise, they've always had people behind them. Um, I don't care nothing about them. I only care about the underdogs because I'm an underdog. Coming from where I come from, East Side, Buffalo, New York, who would have thought that I would be here today we are back at milestone one of my sports tech company, All Dreams, which our mission is to support 1 million dreamers, 1 million athletes worldwide, okay? With our platform. If we can do it, man, that would be a lot of impact. But Eastside Buffalo, New York, basketball took me out of there still stumbled, stumbled many times, had to find a way to continue to play college basketball. Um, went through that, found myself in a junior college in South Carolina after two years in a junior college in Buffalo, New York, and just didn't work out all the way to junior college in South Carolina, all the way after that year to Bethune-Cookman. Didn't play. Went pro. Signed with an agent. Couldn't go back to school. Went to Argentina. Spent, spent some time there. Got cut. Come back. Life out of control. Two years later, find myself in prison, come home, got two daughters. What do I do now, right? Create something, not knowing how to do it. Created a way for myself. Still wasn't as successful as I wanted to be. Create something else. Find purpose. Have my third daughter. Get charged again by the feds for something I didn't do. Father dies. Grandmother dies. Start another business. The point is. Start another business. Thought I was going to be with a girl for marriage. Didn't work out. Lost everything. Had to sell, you know, so had to sell the store. You know, start from scratch. Start something else, create something else. That takes me on a journey. Quit that. You know, somebody, you know, somebody gave me a, you know, tried to give me a, a option deal for, for, for something I created. I declined it. Um, started putting my footage together 
into a movie didn't get sold. Find myself in my dream condo. Wasn't fulfilled. Started another company. Somebody invested 70, 70 80 thousand dollars with me. Started another company. Wasn't fulfilled. Stopped doing that. Came to Columbia on vacation. Met a kid. Gave up on his dream. Now all this time I suppressed my athletic journey. I suppressed sports. I suppressed basketball for 20 years. Um, figured out that I should be helping athletes that were just like me, that need support, that need exposure, that need financial support. Started this company. Got an office in Columbia. Started supporting dreams of athletes. Company almost got stolen. Documented it all from 2005 all the way up to now. The point is, man, it's been ups and downs and it's been successes, it's been failures. We are more alike and you should be rooting for me because I'm rooting for you. See you guys tomorrow, peace.